In today's video, we will create an e-commerce in less than 10 minutes, empowering Frameblocks, which is an ultimate UI kit and design system for Framer. So stick to the end so you will learn how to do things faster in Framer and how to actually connect your Framer template with Shopify. All right, let's go and create a tiny e-commerce using frame blocks. Like uh, if you see here, they say that the ultimate framer UI kit and design system, and they have a lot of sections and components ready to just drag and drop into your canvas. And if you scroll down, you can see that they created some beautiful hero sections using only frame blocks, pre-made sections, and if you scroll down, as you scroll down, also they have a plugin and I'm going to show you how we can actually use their plugin to uh, basically add sections and access those pre-made pages that they provide. So as you see here, they have more than 700 sections and layout and more than 300 components and even more than 50 pre-built pages, like complete page, like a whole landing page. This is incredible. So yeah, as you scroll down, uh, basically, let me just check their pricing plan. Like uh, I, wanna, I wanna see that how are, oh yeah. The pro license is only $99 and, and this is incredible. You can access all of these features and all of these templates and sections with just hundred bucks. That's amazing. So uh, let's just go to the components, for example, Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. And as you see here, you can just basically they have 36 variants of banners, toast message, accordions, link, drop down and tabs and everything. Like if you go to the resources, for example, you can see that they created some some nice hero sections and sections, actually. And you can just copy and paste. This is amazing. Like. Um, for now, let's just search for e-commerce to see what do we have? Oh yeah. Okay. Framer shop components. As you see here, you can just, uh, copy these sections and then paste it into your canvas. And for now, I'm just going to the pages tab. And for example, let's, let's preview this one first. I want to see that how it looks. Hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's just, um, copy and paste this one into the framer canvas. All right. All right, let's just paste it here. And as you see, it perfectly pasted all the entire landing page into our um, framer canvas. And you can basically just click on the component you can you can even unlink and replace it or or you can just uh, basically go to the uh, right panel and tweak the uh, texts and the images and everything like they, they provide everything to just uh, make a whole landing page in just a few seconds. And they also provide a frame blocks plugin. Let me just yeah, this is this is frame blocks plugin and you can basically um, access all of those assets directly in Framer. Like if you go to the sections, you can see that they have 64 variants of hero sections and you can just basically drag and drop everything that you need. For example, I'll, I want to drag and drop this one. And as you see, it was added to my website perfectly. And if you need more, like you can go to the components and basically, um, for example, I need a nav bar. So I'm just going to drag and drop the nav bar here. And as you see, let me just place it here. Yeah. And as you see, it will perfectly add everything. Let's just control Z and let's upload our own images and, and let's connect it to Shopify. Okay, for now, I'm going to upload an image for each of these empty sections. And by the way, we need to connect this related products to Shopify. And by the way, actually, let me just unlink instant this. And I want to place this section above the images right below the hero section so that we can easily access 
the products. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to fast forward and upload an image for each of these empty sections. All right, we'll wait until the images are uploaded completely. And before we continue, let me tell you something. If you're a framer expert, or if you have a lot of framer projects, you definitely need frame blocks license. Because I remember I had a pretty busy day and the client was nudging every second and I was supposed to deliver two different tap designs. And I didn't have the time to do that, but I delivered four different tap designs with in just a few minutes, actually with frame blocks and with all the motions and interactions. So why not right now, get your license and let's see what we've got in the uh, next part. All right, now that we have the images are uploaded in, in uh, all we have to do is just connect this section with Shopify. I do have uh, some products here in, and uh, they are collected here under the sound product. And as you can see that um, I have five products and I'm just going to connect this data to my framework template. And for that, we need to actually use Shopify, which is the best and most cost effective solution on framework marketplace. Let me just run their plugin. And as you can see, uh, they have a full tutorial. You can just click in directly. You'll be redirected to YouTube and or, or, or if you want to watch the full tutorial, click the top right corner link. So, and as you can see, uh, they have a lot of products and, and uh, I mean components, sorry. And you can just uh, drag and drop all of these into your canvas. And so I have configured my store and I'm just going to uh, run the shop frame plugin in CMS and let's just run it. Okay. You can just filter anything. Um, for example, if you want the second image, you have to turn on the switch and I'm just going to leave it for now and let's just sync the products. All right. As you can see, all of the products that I have on my Shopify account is loaded here, but we just need these last ones. Okay, so I'm just going to um, click here and let's just set the uh, Shopify frame collection. And as you can see, the cloth images are uh, being shown, but uh, let's just filter the collection to that sound product. Okay, let me just go here and let's select the collection if the collection equals to sound product. All right, there we go. Yeah, and, and right here, we need to configure this left section also. I'm just going to select shop frame and then filter. All right, there we go. So um, as you can see that the title is being repeated here, we need the pricing here. So I'm just going to um, basically delete the repeated title and I'm just going to uh, run Shopify from again and let's go to the components. Let's search for price and let's just basically drag and drop the price here. So. As you can see, it says that product ID required for this component. I'm just going to basically set the variable of product ID here. So as you can see, it shows me, actually it shows me the fake data and I know what's, what is that? So basically, uh, yeah, as you can see, one of the products is 776. So I'm just going to uh, run shop frame again, and let's make sure that the test mode is off. Okay. And now, as you can see, all of the data is real. So, okay. Let's just basically. All right, there we go. Yeah. 
All right, now we have everything and we just need to uh, bring this shop page and let me just copy and paste it to my framework canvas. But before that, we have to make sure that we create a detail page from that CMS. So as you see, all of the real data is placed here. I'm just going to um, remove this stack and let's just place the what we what we copied before. So and here we need to unlink this uh, basically component. Let me just undetach instant and let's basically uh, link these variables to the, for example, the image should be featured image in the title should be basically title and description should be description perfect and for the price we have to basically run shopping frame and drag and drop the price component all right there we go and then let's set the product id to product id perfect there we go let me just change the uh this other thing product to what we actually want and for this buy now button i'm going to just basically let me just remove the padding here all right and then let's just basically um import that shop pay button which is default in shopify and a lot of people use this shop pay button let me just basically import this one too. And let's get rid of this. Oh, let's get rid of this buy now button. We have to set the product ID to product ID and let's make it fill. All right, there we go. Let's run the template. And as you see, everything works perfect. Let me just remove that price text. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Oh, let me just reload it basically. Yeah. And if you click this shop pay button, it's going to be redirected to Shopify checkout. And as you see, everything works perfect. So, and then let me just basically fast forward and upload these images. So, we have a nicer look. Perfect, there we go. We have everything set up perfectly. And if we run it again, just to make sure. There we go, perfect, okay. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out the weekly content that we publish on this channel. See you next time, peace.